Jay, so normally when I uh, bump into old faces, I'm like, last time I spoke to you was at the last con, but the last time I saw you was at a different kind of event, mate. Do you want to tell us about your cosplay and tell us about uh, what you've been up to? Well, we've been up to, so we, we've got, uh, I want to thank you, because you were absolutely brilliant on the video at the last Wild Child. Yeah, that's Wild Child Wasp Tribute Australia, the first ever Wasp show to come down under in probably the South Southern Hemisphere and you taped it for us. Yeah, I did. So as you can see, I'm Blackie Lawless, or one of the Blackie Lawlesses on stage, with a custom guitar, of course, but, mate... Oh, is, that, is that a prop, is it? No, it's not a prop. It's, it's real. real. It's, okay, it's, 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 it's what I played on stage that oh, okay, night. okay, cool, cool, cool. This is the, um, oh, well, okay, it's about the $3,500 guitar. It's a proper BC Rich Blackie Lawless, but, mate, what a night it was. It was a great night. Um, I'll leave, if you guys want to see this guy on stage in action, I'll leave a link somewhere up here and maybe in the description below so you can check that video out. You, you amazed me, man. You were great stage presence. I had no idea that you could play instruments. Like, you know, what, what can't this guy do, man? Oh, no, very well, I was very humbled that night. It was, it was my debut gig and I was nervous as hell, but I mean, I had five, four amazing guys up there and just want to give a big plug and thank you to Chris and Jack Phillips. They've they've moved on thanks very much for all your support and your help and wish you all the best for your future endeavors but we've got two new members we've got the manimal he's a lunatic we unleashed the manimal last night con milo one of the best drummers in australia we've got him and we've got dylan burns he's dylan. The, we've changed him a little bit he's now the, her the heretic <laughs> so he's, he's got the, he, he's somehow he's been influenced by the wild child by myself Trevor Hill and mean man Luke Chapman so but again big shout out to you man I mean I if you worry, ever man. want videos come and see this man here he That's did right. a magnificent job job on wild child's YouTube site you better see that I, I do appreciate you offering me that because at first it was something I didn't feel like I could do and I was like it's Jay I want to help him out so I did it and you know, it could be better, but uh, nah, I, it man. gave me experience and mate. you've opened my eyes up to something that I could potentially do for other people. Potentially so. do. Mate, yeah. I'll tell you right now, the stuff he did I mean, from Wild Child and Riot Act, some of the, the comments we've been getting, what a magnificent video it is. So, mate, get on him, man. He's, he's, he's on it, mate. He's on it. I appreciate it, man. Um, you coming here tomorrow as well? I will be, and I'm probably I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing yet. I'm okay. like, I'm thinking about maybe Nightwolf. Maybe whip out a bit of David Hasselhoff. Maybe someone's asked me to do AEW's Jungle Boy. I've got the thing. It's I might do it, and we'll see how we go. But today was my boy said, go to Comic Con, and you've got to do Blackie Wallace. Nice. And here I am today, and with the official. Where is it? Where uh, is it's it? in my bag. It's in my bag. I'm He's the official <laughs> video man. I'm part of the crew now. He's part of the crew for Wild Child and Skid Row's Ride Act. Right. So, mate. As I, said, I can't speak more highly of both of you. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate catching up with you, mate. We'll speak to you soon. No worries. We'll go to the <laughs>Hi, you mate. Nice I'm to meet you. Yourself. Good to meet you. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, tell us about your cosplay, man. You're not only Jason in real life, but you're cosplaying Jason Todd, right? So uh, tell us about the cosplay. Perfect irony. I don't really know. What do you want to know? Uh, is it bought? Did you build it? Or it's so I built it all myself, like other than the undersuit, which is just under, uh, under Armour shirt. But the rest is all made out of foam. Uh, so it's basically glue, heat, and time and foam. Uh, the helmet itself is built out of the under layer. is a thin layer of EVA foam. Outside, I've got a couple of layers of fiberglass nice. and light-up lenses. Uh, how long have you been cosplaying for? What are we in 2022? About four years. Four years. Yeah. Um, and do, have you done any other characters before? What, have, what, what are some of your past cosplays? Uh, so I've got this one. I've got Spider-Man. Uh, hoping to do Levi tomorrow from Attack on Titan. And what else have I done? That's pretty much it as it stands, yeah. Uh, so you're into a mixture of stuff then? you got anime, comic books and things? Anime, comics, movies. I'm... Um, 
all over it, really. If it's nerdy, I like it. <laughs> nice. Uh, what do you like about Red Hood? Well, the aesthetic is obviously yeah. schmick. Yeah. Uh, just kind of the divide of morality as to where you draw the line on justice and the hypocrisy of some of the things. Just how it's ongoing, so he tries to finish it. Um, did you watch Titans? I did. How did you think they represented him? Not great, to be fully honest. <laughs> um, to their credit, they're trying to get years worth of comic books into That's true too. one season of show. But, you know, they did alright. Could have been better. What are some of your future cosplays you got in mind? Uh, so I've got Levi, uh, Timothy Drake's Red Robin, New 52. Um, what else? A mix of Mando and Batman. Oh, but that's, that's an taking a one. bit more time because it's a bit more of my own design. Um, but yeah, just need time and money. That's the biggest thing about cosplay, which I have little of either. <laughs> uh, how much time do you put into making your costumes? Depends on how close it is to the deadline. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. I can spend two weeks worth straight just doing it all. Otherwise, yeah, I normally leave it in a back project and get to it when I can. Most of my time is taken up with uh, cage fighting and that kind of stuff. With cage fighting? Cage fighting, yeah. Do you train? I do. Oh. MMA fighter. Yeah, how long have you been training for? Uh, 26, so about 17 years. Oh, cool. So you had pro fights and stuff? Yeah. Oh, cool, man. I'm, I'm a big MMA fan, so Hello. that's Thank awesome. You. That's awesome. Uh, where about to train? Uh, in Canberra, at Storm MMA. Oh, so you're from Canberra? I'm from Canberra, yeah. Oh, Not okay. A local, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. One last question, um, and I always ask people I guess I've met for the first time. I, I've met a lot of people from doing these videos. Um, what advice would you give someone who wants to get into cosplay, but maybe they're a little bit shy to? A little bit shy to get into cosplay. Um, biggest thing is the community is always supportive. So like, it doesn't matter if you want to do something that might be out of your body type or anything like that. It, it works. Like, you put the effort in, you get the reward. And there's no, there's no shame in any sort of the area. So like, if it's bought, if it's made, um, there's just a wealth of support there for you. And quite frankly, it's fun to adopt a character and just run around and you can make other people's days just by wearing their favorite costume their favorite character stuff so just go for it really <laughs> nice uh it was nice to meet you man i appreciate nice you doing that you. thank, thank you. you what's going on jimmy how are you mate oh good yourself man it's i'm good i'm good wall. um tell me what, what brings you to these uh conventions i see you here pretty much every time tree uh just love being a nerd man uh, as you know we met in the punk scene yes. and when I saw you came out as a nerd as well, I was like, holy shit, there's someone I can relate to and kind of like pushed me to start going to conventions more and to start cosplaying and all that. Uh, well, I am a noob, you know, I, I like to refer to myself as a wannabe nerd rather than a real nerd. Yeah. I'm catching up, I'm catching up, but uh, what kind of stuff are you into, man? You're obviously a big anime fan. Yeah, massive anime fan, uh, massive Star Wars fan as well. Like, grew up watching that, especially as a mixed race person, seeing Django fan, I'm like, oh cool, there's a Maldi which is really awesome to see as a kid who grew up in like, you know, both a Maldi family and an Australian family. So I'm like, oh, this is cool. I want to get more into this. And then obviously we want a new series coming out. It's like, this is cool. Like there's a lot more for me and other people like of my ethnicity who can actually get into this stuff. It's like, cool, there's a guy from Once We're Warriors being this badass in like this science fiction movie. That. that is a good way into it. It's like when I was younger, I guess, there wasn't as many, I guess, Asian celebrities as there are now so growing up people like Bruce Lee and yeah. Jackie Chan they were kind of like your heroes growing yeah. up and things like that so tell us about your cosplay man yeah uh, pretty much as Tanjiro uh, I was meant to go fully as him but the shirt I ordered was unfortunately too small so I just kind of dubbed this as Tanjiro so a bit more of like an urban sort of style uh, wh what's the character from uh, Demon Slayer oh, okay Demon Slayer okay that's Demon Slayer is huge right yeah it's pretty big like Supernova didn't see as many like uh, Tanjiro cosplayers but I was gone this year, there's like so many, I like, rocked up, I'm like, oh, there's probably a couple of people, and I, every like four and I go like, oh, there's a Tundra, there's a Tundra, there's a lot of Tundras this year for some reason. Uh, for someone, because I'm not huge into anime, I mean, I watch My Hero Academia, but that's like, that's like, you know, yeah. basic bitch stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like the new basic stuff to watch. Um, if you had to recommend an anime to someone who maybe wasn't into anime, what would Ooh. you recommend? Definitely Full Metal Alchemist, great series, both uh, the original and Brotherhood. Uh, probably Berserk and probably Demon Slayer since it's like a newer one and everyone's like kind of into it at the moment. So it's, I guess it's an easier series to get into, but if you want to go classic, 100% Full Metal and Berserk. Do you have any other 
cosplays that you have planned for the future? Uh, I plan to do a Manji gang member from Tokyo Revengers, uh, Spider Punk, and <laughs> maybe a Fire Force cosplay. So just see what I can get around to. But probably do Spider Punk first. I'm all those two. Yeah, uh, that's something I want to do for a while, but. I'm so out of shape, I can't wear spandex anymore. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm slowly getting into shape, so... Yeah, man, because you've lost a lot of weight through training, Muay Thai, yeah. I know. Uh, that, yeah. I follow you on Instagram, I see all that stuff, so that's really cool, man. Yeah. Uh, I did it a long time ago, but uh, it's just I'm so unfit now, man. I'm scared to go back to it. Oh, you know those first few classes yeah. when you realise how unfit you really are? Yeah. I'm terrified. Oh, dude, first time going in back when I was like really overweight, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, a few years later, best shape of my life so far, loving it. And just, just loving like myself at the moment. I like hearing those stories, man. It yeah. inspires me to uh, just, just do it, right? Yeah, just, just, yeah. What advice would you give to someone who wants to get into cosplay but is maybe a bit shy? Uh, I just say do it. Like uh, people here are just so welcoming. It's really weird. Like I get copper bits all the time, particularly on earrings and a robe, and I'm like, oh, this is weird. Actually, people being generally nice and complimentary. Uh, so yeah, just do it. Doesn't matter. Like everybody's different. Everybody gets into it. At, whenever they want, uh, just do whatever you feel like doing, like do the character you want to do. Nice one well, mate, it was good yeah. to finally get to interview yeah, you and uh, I'll probably talk to you again in the next one. No <laughs>
lady at the candle shop we made friends with yeah. today. Like, can't wait to see her next con. Yeah, it's just such a tight knit. She was a lovely lady. Yeah, Pe people are nice, you know. Like, why wouldn't yeah. you come? Yeah. This is our people, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly, man. We wouldn't have met you guys if we didn't come. That's yeah, right. exactly. That's We're right. all just giant nerds, and that's okay. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. No. All right, last thing. Tell people about the YouTube channel. How is the YouTube channel going? It's going pretty good, actually. Yeah, we had to take a month break because uh, we moved houses, and then Telstra sucks. Mm -hmm. uh, Telstra, if you're watching, you suck. <laughs> But we're back on now. Yeah, 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 we're back online. Yeah, man, still just running with the Nintendo theme. Uh, that's our niche. That's what we love. So, yeah, if, you, if you're into Nintendo, Switch mainly, but retro stuff as well, check us out. Some kind of gaming. The link will be in the description. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm here once again with Jamie Johnson, mate. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you, Simon? <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, how's the day been, man? It's been awesome, dude. Like, I didn't expect it to be this busy. I heard that uh, they sold out, so when they opened the doors, the uh, floodgates opened, and what COVID? <laughs> yeah, right? Well, I don't know. Like, they haven't really utilized the space that well this year. In Just what way? Well, if, wise, or? well, I don't know if you've noticed where the food trucks are. There's a lot of space down there, and okay. also down there, there's a lot of space. I feel like you guys could have been spread at it just a little bit more, but... Um, yeah, look, it's always fun just to be be back here, so... Dude, it's, it's always great to catch up with everyone, but I literally have only seen my table mates because I haven't had a chance to leave the table. I've been, like, drawing and signing and selling all day, so it's been it's been a great response, yeah. But that's good, yeah? Yeah, oh, mate, can't complain. It's awesome. You got, uh, did you get many commissions this time around? Yeah, I think I've... Oh, man, I think I've done, like, ten commissions between the take-home and the ones at the show, so it's been great. The original art's been flying off the shelves, so it's been... Uh, one happy camper. <laughs> <laughs> um, what other work you been up to like since I last spoke to you? I think last spoke to you at Supernova. So. Uh, I definitely wasn't at Supernova. No, I, I had COVID. Was it? Um, oh, that's right. It might have yeah, been, yeah. been the. Old it would have been the last. It would have been the last Comic Con. Yeah. yeah so uh, besides the Cult of Dracula, I haven't really been uh, concentrating on cover art. I've been trying to just clear my slates. So I've done a few uh, like commercial jobs, and I'm just trying to get through my commission list. So. The, uh, you know, learning to say no is something I need to do better because uh, my work piles up and I feel like I never really quite get on top of it. So I've sort of annexed doing the uh, the cover art at the moment and just trying to get through the uh, the backlog, so yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything you look forward to? I mean, I know you said you haven't left the table, but I mean, tomorrow are you going to take the time to do anything? I'm actually in, uh, in Melbourne for the long weekend, so I'm going to see how it goes here and, and make hay while the sun shines, but I'm catching up with uh, family and some friends and Probably check out an AFL game. Um, I'm an AFL virgin, so I'm going to oh, really? see how that goes. Yeah, go check it out, the MCG. It's like a charity match or something. And uh, But yeah, I don't know. Just looking forward to maybe having a drink with some artist buddies. And yeah. Um, is there something you enjoy about Melbourne? Something uh, you like? Everything, man. I love it. I mean, I don't love the cold, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> uh, I was a shock to the system this morning, especially with my shaved head. But uh, look, I just love the atmosphere in the city and the little pocket bars and just the, the nightlife and the yeah it's, it's just got a great ambiance man it's got a good vibe and I always you know catch up with some some great people like yourself and some uh, regulars of mine so yeah I don't know man it's just got a great vibe Melbourne's its own uh, entity so it's great yeah nice. um, last thing I'll ask just because I asked Tom this last night because you did a panel with Tom at the last I did, Comic Con yeah, yeah. Uh, something I asked him and I'm gonna ask you and I think I know your answer but I asked him the age-old question of who wins between Batman and Superman so, honestly, I love Batman, but let's be honest, all Superman has to do is blink and he's gone. I'm sorry. That's exactly what Tom said. Sorry, I, I was surprised because I know you're a huge Batman fan. I oh, do. So. I love Batman. And he's, he's smart. He has contingencies, but I mean, you have to be quick enough to enact the contingencies. So, yeah. I'm going to turn that into a clip, mate, and wait till you see the comments when people see that you said <laughs> Superman, mate. You're in trouble. <laughs> you literally, literally, it's just like a shrine to Batman, and I've just gone against him. So, yeah, just, I mean, Tom said that while wearing a Batman shirt. Oh, so. uh, you know, you, know, you got to keep it real, but yeah. yeah. I mean, he would know. He writes them. So. That's it, right. <laughs> well, it was good to catch up with you, man. I'll let you get back to your thing. Uh, thanks yeah. so much. Good to see you, man. Catch up. Take care. Hey Camilo, it's nice to meet you. Uh, how are you finding the day? 
Yeah, man, it's been great. It's been um, really busy. Probably the um, busiest con I've been to since the pandemic hit. Yeah. Uh, when was the last con you we were, were at? The last one I was at was last year's Sydney um, Oz Comic Con, just before the lockdowns. So yeah, this is my first time in Melbourne. Yeah, uh, so uh, what do you think of Melbourne, mate? It's great, man. Um, uh, I think it's been the busiest one I've ever been to. Yeah, it was It was chaos this morning getting in here and uh, it was just so claustrophobic, man. Like I got dizzy just being around so many people. Um, tell people about your work who I guess you aren't familiar with now. Uh, my work, you can probably see uh, most of my work on Ninja Turtles. I've done covers on the regular series and The Last Ronin. Um, I've done a bunch of other covers as well for like indie books um, with Scout Comics and um, with Image Comics. Um, most of my stuff's online on my Instagram. You can check me out on Instacam underscore illo. Were you a big Ninja Turtles fan growing up? Yeah man, huge fan. Um, I think it was the first property I fell in love with. And um, doing the like, official work on the turtles was like a, a bucket list sort of thing. Like, it was a dream yeah, come true. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so who's your favourite turtle? Uh, Michelangelo. For sure, right? Do you think people because Michelangelo was my favourite too. Do you think people who say Michelangelo is their favourite, do you think it's because they're party dudes? Um, yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, so were you into comic books growing up? Yeah, man, I always into comic books. Um, I actually came here when I was really young. Yep. I was about five years old, so um, I sort of, comics helped me learn English as well. So um, yeah, I love comic books for like my whole life. Uh, what were some of the comics you were into back when you were younger? Uh, mostly um, the 90s X-Men stuff. So all of Jim Lee's run, Will Spotasio, um, stuff like that, yeah. Which artist sort of inspired you growing up to, who inspired you to become an artist? Um, I don't know if there's another artist that inspired me to become an artist, but um, maybe like my parents just um, telling me to do what makes you happy. Oh, cool. Yeah. I've asked your mate Jamie this before. Um, what advice would you give someone who wants to become an artist and get into that sort of industry as, as work? Uh, just draw. Just draw as much as you can. Um, I actually worked in a completely different industry before and um, I was going to an office every day and I hated it. So um, just one day I said, oh, you know what, I'm going to quit. And I locked myself in my room and I drew until someone online bought something. You know, so until it was good enough for people to want to buy. And that's why I encourage people to just draw every day as much as you can. Just chase the dream, right? Just do that's it. Right. That's right. Awesome. Uh, well, it was really nice to meet you, man. I appreciate you doing that. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Okay, I'm here with Steve or Batman. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. I'm good. Awesome. Uh, what brings you here today, mate? What do, you, what, what do you look forward to when you come to conventions? Uh, just getting into costume. Uh, yeah. A character that I grew up with and loved. Of course. Yeah. Um, who's your favourite Batman? Uh, Kate. For sure, yeah? Kate, yeah? So are you excited for him to make another appearance in the DC Universe? Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see him again after 30 odd years. Yeah, it'd be fantastic. Uh, yeah, it was a real shock, right? Like for old school fans. Um, what, what did you think of the latest Batman movie? I actually really enjoyed the latest, the latest movie. I think Pattinson did a great job. Close to the comics, dark, gritty, and very detective. Yeah, I think some of the older movies forget that he is the world's greatest detective, right? So yeah, I like the dark, gritty Batman, and yeah. I feel like they... You know, obviously Nolan did it well, but I feel like this one took it that next step. Nolan so. did it well, but I think this one just went that one step further it needed. Yeah. yeah. Um, how long have you been cosplaying, man? Uh, probably about 10 years. 10 years, okay, yeah, cool. As a kid, but like yeah. dressing up, but it turned into that. That's yeah, so I mean, like in 10 years, was the term cosplay even around back then? Not really. Oh, really? No, I used to do, I did Freddy Krueger. Oh, nice. And yeah, I think people thought, what the hell is he doing? So I would not do it on Halloween. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, were there even conventions 10 years ago uh, going back? Not like they are now. No. Yeah, sure. It's more smaller. Yeah. Um, so what are some of the other cosplays you've done? Uh, I do a Deadpool. Okay, cool. Uh, a Ninja Turtles, mm -hmm. 1990 movie. Cool, nice. Um, and Freddy Krueger and Ali G. Nice, nice. Um, something I like to ask people that I uh, interview for the first time. Yep. If you had advice to give to someone who wanted to get into cosplay but was maybe a little bit shy to take the first step, yeah. what would you recommend? Or would, what advice would you give to that person? Um, just do it. Because I think the more you think about it, the more you get anxiety about it. Yeah, so course. just do it. That's, that's what I did. Yeah. Uh, your costume doesn't have to be the best thing ever to start with. So yeah, just get out there, meet other people, and then you start getting into groups. It helps. Uh, so is there anything you're looking forward to today? Um, not in particular, I just love coming here, dressing up, seeing kids when they see Batman, you know, nice. it's fantastic. That's what I was like when I was a kid, but yeah. these went around, so I didn't have that. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, it was nice to meet you, man, I appreciate you doing that. Thank you. Nice, mate. Awesome.
And that is it for another Oz Comic Con. If you guys are still watching this video, I do appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Um, if you guys like this video, if you want to support the channel, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. It really goes a long way. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Check out my uh, playlist tab on my homepage, on my YouTube page. Um, if you want to see more of this kind of content, I have a lot more going on on the cosplay and conventions playlist, uh, as well as all kinds of other stuff. But this is the part of the video where I give a cringy little speech about my day. I believe at the end of last Comic Con, I came home very unhappy. Not with the event, but just with, I guess, uh, my video. Uh, I got rejected a lot last, last time around. A lot of people didn't want to do interviews, and it just kind of threw me off my game. So at the end of the day, when I edited the video, it was fine, but I just, at, on the day, I, I felt very upset with myself with the, <laughs> with the, with the video performance. Um, but this time around, it was an amazing day. Uh, everyone was very uh, welcoming. Uh, so, and I, I really wanted to meet some new people this time around. Uh, so, and I got a chance to. So, thank you so much to those people who gave me the time um, to, to do an interview. And also shout out to the, uh, the OGs, the people who I've interviewed many a times, uh, for always welcoming me into this community. But that is not all for my Oz Comic Con videos. I still have my Nerds Day Out vlog series with my girlfriend, Captain Saro. That's still to come, as well as an interview with my best friend of the whole world, Tom Taylor. So again, more reasons to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, uh, be notified for when these videos comes out. And yeah, uh, until next time, I am Simple Simon. Tell your friends, and keep it simple.